The U.S. has 5% of the world's population. We've got 25% of the world's prisoners. I was part of the machine that produced that problem. After years of prosecuting low-level dealers, I changed my mind. My name's Mark Osler. I teach criminal law at the University of St. Thomas in Minneapolis. When I was a young child, my family lived in the city of Detroit. My first memory is the city burning in the riots when I was four years old. Um, that's something you don't forget. And at some point along the way, I thought my part in making it better is going to be consistent law enforcement. In 1995, I became a federal prosecutor in Detroit. I had the best vantage point possible to see a broken system. Since the early 1980s, we've seen the federal prison population go from about 25,000 up to over 200,000. We often imagine that the people in prison are the murderers, are the kidnappers, but we're wrong. Far too many of them aren't in that category. Uh, they're non-violent drug offenders who don't deserve to be there as long as they are. A key reason is because of mandatory minimums. A mandatory minimum tells a judge what they have to do, the sentence they have to give. They can't go below it even if they want to. Mandatory minimums were put in place to try to achieve consistency in sentencing. I believed in things like mandatory minimums because they seemed fair. You know, you've got an 18-year-old who had 5.7 grams of crack and a gun, and I was the guy that said, it has to be 10 years, judge. Doing the same kinds of cases over and over, after a while, it seemed pointless. We'd incarcerate a kid, and there'd be someone else in his place the next day. And I came to understand that we weren't fixing the problem. We were destroying lives and destroying families. I was somebody who uh, was a part of the machine, and I thought it was fixing things. And it's, it's a cause of despair. If what I did wrong with a lot of other people, with the best of intentions, uh, is allowed to stand. What I'm working hard at, what I wake up in the morning thinking about, is changing the system because it's morally wrong. Not all moments are equal. And there is a sense that there's an extraordinary opportunity right now uh, to change what's gone wrong in criminal sentencing, particularly with narcotics, uh, because there's a broad recognition that we have failed, that the war on drugs hasn't worked, that it hasn't delivered what we need, and that the cost has been tremendous. Uh, because of that, people for the first time in a long time are thinking not just this is wrong, but what should come next. And that gives me great hope. <laughs>